I'm doing some JavaScript today, so let's get excited. Um, I've made a little website here, so you can all actually use it. It's um, Phil Hope uh, Live, Phil Hope Live, just in the URL up there. So if you want to jump onto that, so you don't have to get sore necks, keep facing the screen, make it a little easier. Yeah. So, this will be broken up into three sections. The first one is going to do a presentation, and we're going to run through a little bit of the fundamentals of JavaScript, why we should use it, etc. And then the second training session will be actually using JavaScript. We've got some coding challenges. Uh, training session two will be like a level up from session one with another coding challenge. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Is there a program we should pull up in order to do this video? Uh, I would have a favorite IDE. So, so, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, whichever one you like. Yeah. Which we won't need till the second training session. Oh, wait, sorry, the first one. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You sure? Should be working. It's one hour. It's one hour. Okay. 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 Cool. All right. So we've got all the side here. We've got the presentation. Yeah. All right. So first of all, what is JavaScript? Uh, well, so this is what we're covering. So what is JavaScript, and how do we use it? And then we'll cover what can it be used for. If you actually want to navigate through the slides, I've made it so you have to actually use the keyboard. So using the arrows, just say, because I've got some interactive things on here that if you're trying to click it, sometimes the slide will just go across, which is a real pain. So sort of make your life easier. So objectives for this presentation, um, we want to be able to get a better understanding of JavaScript, uh, learn the fundamentals a little bit, um, how to use JavaScript on your HTML page to make it interactive, uh, bring it to life, and no more before you did. Uh, before, sorry. And then if we accomplish that, today's forecast is a hundred percent chance of winning. Um, so what is JavaScript? Uh, it's the world's most popular programming language. Uh, it's the programming language of the internet. And what they mean by that is, if you want to be a web developer, it's in everything. So uh, you've got so many useful tools that are you know, related to, to the web, and it makes it a very powerful tool to learn. Uh, it is easy to learn, and why I learn it? Because JavaScript is one of the three languages web developers must learn, so you've probably touched on HTML before, yeah? Yep, yeah, CSS. So with JavaScript, kind of adds an extra layer to it, so you can change your CSS styles, you can change your HTML elements, you can make a lot of changes after your page has already been loaded. So that saves load times, makes it more interactive, makes it a more engaging uh, experience for the visitors of your site. Um, I've got a cool link here if you want to have a look at it. I was looking through trying to find some showcase for JavaScript, and this one here is just an awesome example of uh, what you can do with JavaScript. I believe this is built on Angular uh, front-end framework. Um, so if you have a look at it, like moving your mouse around here, it's got event uh, listeners, changes the cursor, press let's go. Like it just looks awesome, and this is all because of JavaScript. So this is a quiz for my fashion DNA. So if you all want to know what your fashion DNA is, you can visit this site later. Ask for your date of birth, but I won't put that in there. Is that secret? All right. So how do we use JavaScript? <coughs> so up here, I've got, if you want to play around with it, if you go onto that page, we have a little light bulb here. So if you click on, you click off, you'll see that the light bulb goes on, goes off. Um, it's really simple. So here in the blue, I've got an uh, HTML event. And then in the green, I've got uh, what's called the DOM. So that's like a programming interface that you can tap into using JavaScript. And it kind of, allows you to access all different elements in your HTML, 
change attributes, um, change the text inside of your dictionary. Uh, what is an event? As you can see there, it's on click. There's a long list of events. You've got on load, uh, on keystroke. There's too many to go through, but uh, on my side I've got uh, a list of a lot of helpful links, and you can go through those. So don't feel like you need to absorb all of them straight away. So it's, it's just going to show you what you don't know. Well, I'll cover what the DOM is. So yeah, if you have all those together, HTML, JavaScript, the DOM, HTML events, you get the ultimate internet burger meal inside of CSF. So see you guys play with the light bulb. I'll do it up here. So turn it off, turn it on. So all that's doing there is I'm changing the source attribute. So there's two images, and one is looks like it's off, one looks like it's on. When I click one button, it has its own uh, on-click event, and it'll change it back to that image. So it looks like you know, a little eyeball turning off and on. Now, uh, can I change the text? You absolutely can. You can do a lot of cool things in JavaScript. So you've got top part here, that's using the DOM, which is the document, with the dot notation, uh, the get element by ID, do we all know what the ID is? Uh, ID is got a little hash in front of it, and you only use it once, or as a class you can use multiple times, um, and you usually use a class for like styling, but you can use a class for, I mean sorry, an, an ID for styling too, but turn, you put an ID in usually one individual element, whereas a class you intend to use it multiple times. Um, and down the bottom here, we've got uh, an instance where we're changing the style. Um, so I've got a little paragraph. Um, there, the P, it's got ID equals P2. And so what I'm doing is the document, that's the, the root HTML, I'm getting the element by ID, which you can see there is P2, and then dot .style, um, and when you use dot .style you can actually change a lot of different things, you can change the background colour, you can change, yeah, all the heat stuff. So on style colour dot, uh, equals blue, and all that does is changes the font colour to blue. So on, you can add an on-click event or... Uh, anything like that to do some really cool stuff. All right. It's the bottom one. I'm just changing the text color in the paragraph and elements just to blue. It's nothing fancy, but yeah, it's just a, an example of how you can change the the, the style using the stuff. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So the page will load, uh, it'll see that there's the script tags there, it'll see that um, I'm wanting to change it to blue, so yeah, we'll cover a few different types of things with that. Um, so I did this on a diagram yesterday, and it kind of really just dissects it. Um, so this is uh, just an image element. One thing I take note of is that everything in there can be counted as an attribute. And that's important to know because anything as an attribute can be altered. So as, as you saw before in the image, I was able to change the source, go from an off light bulb to an on. Um, same as the class, you can change that after the, the page has been loaded. Um, so you've got the ID there. And uh, underneath I've got a few different examples of ways that you can access uh, through the DOM. So down here you've got document get element by ID and then I'm setting the attribute source and then the second um, argument in parentheses is the value that I want to get. So I've changed it from PNG to a JPEG image. And then if you want to remove an attribute entirely, uh, you can do so. Use dot remove attribute for so remember that one because that will come in handy when we're doing the coding challenge. Alright, so just to recap, so you saw how JavaScript can be used directly in your HTML. Uh, so you can inject it straight into your HTML page using the script tags. Uh, and we saw it on click event. Um, we saw that you can change the content in the element. 
Yeah, and the styling. So, anyone have any questions or a little lost with that? Stuff you didn't understand? Yeah, we should probably just get into it. Yeah, you're keen? <laughs> <laughs> yep, cool. I'm not sure what your uh, assignment requirements are. That'll be a joint question. But yeah, I would, I would say you probably would be. Okay. So no one's got any questions? It was easy. Must have explained it well.